Enough. Who are you? Are you making fun of me? <laughs> Not at all. I beg your pardon if I've offended you. You are strongly hated today. You see, you are destined to die. What? But if you have the will to somehow reverse that myth by yourself, I can lend you some measure of strength. How about it? Will you deal with me? Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Sounds too good to be true. Why? Can't you trust me? Of course not. Look, I get it. You're the evil one, the devil. In exchange for your immortal soul and all that, am I right? Your soul, your soul. Oh, please. In this day and age? <laughs> well, if I do have an agenda, it's that you survive. Let me think it over again. Of course. Of course. Go ahead, go ahead. But don't keep me waiting too long. I don't much like to be left hanging. Wait, wait. What reason is there to procrastinate? You either just die here and now, or you prevent it. It's that simple. What have you got to lose? All right. I'm sorry I called you the devil. I don't want to die yet. Please, help me. All right. But I want you to be aware of something. You have to understand that the destiny that awaits you is a potent one. Which means that just because you manage to avoid death once doesn't mean you're free of the threat. Unless you tear out its very root, destiny gets to be cheated. So coming back to life isn't the hard part, huh? Man, but that can't be helped. You're right. But that's also when your own strengths come into play. Are you ready? I'm going to give you some of my time, she can help. I'm going to give you this z -pass. Please use it well. It's not as though you can use it anywhere or any time you want. This will respond to phenomena that have some relevance to you as its user. As soon as it begins to respond, it's usable, and you can select the Z-Path by pushing the triangle button. After that, you specify the destination time and enter the X button to be set to that time. You can't solve the real problem by just using it when you're about to die. It's better to make use of it to remove the underlying cause of your death. Oh, and one more thing. Something else? Yes. And it's very important. If the response begins in the time space you've traveled out to, please come back immediately. Other people and objects can be just left in another time and stay in time. But that isn't true for you as the user. If it starts to respond, you need to come back quickly, or you won't be able to get back at all. Just be careful. It looks like time is something even more serious than I am. Good luck. Sir, please wake up. Are you all right? Do you feel sick or something? <laughs> Sir! Huh? <laughs> 
What? Oh, sorry, I fell asleep. <laughs> Dana? <laughs> Dana, that'll do. Okay. I, uh, <laughs> I'll just leave what I owe for the coffee here. <laughs> Two o'clock. I still can't believe what just happened. But since I have this Z-pad here, I guess it really did happen. Hey, have you heard yet? Supposedly there's a fortune teller not far from here. Everyone says she's always accurate. Yes? I hate to be rude, but I don't have time for chit-chat. I came to see the street performance. I guess this is as far as I go. A little bird told me that the street performer won't show up today. There's an old map of the city in here. May I help you? If you need a city map, please help yourself. By the way, if you want to look at the map, just press the square button. Me? A performer? You've got to be kidding me. But this square does get a lot of performers, you know, street performers. They get a pretty big crowd going, it's kind of nice.
want. I bet she'd solve my problems in the blink of an eye. I... Huh. Fortune's told. I never noticed this place before. Actually, I just happened to stop by and I was wondering if you could tell me my fortune. Am I going to die soon? For you, I will do it for free. Thanks. I really need this. Please don't give me just the usual niceties. This is very serious for me. Do not worry. So... The fated hour is 2.30. What? Whatever I foresee, you can change. If you take no action, the fate I see will befall you for certain. But I seem to see in you the strength to defy fate itself. The power to defy fate? If, for instance, and this is only an example, your fate is to be stabbed while taking a walk, after you leave this place, and this would happen if you are alone at the fated hour. But if you know what awaits you, you would find people to be with, so that you would not be by yourself unprotected. But then what? If you are among others at the fated hour, the assassin must give up his quarry. And fate would have been defied. 
but a single change will affect all else that follows it. How it changes, no one can tell. There are too many threads, too many tangles. I cannot help you with what lies so far ahead. And your actions could bring even greater danger. But if fate can be changed, you should fight as hard as you can. If you can return here after the appointed hour has passed, then I will tell you the next fortune. All right. I think I can trust you. What? Looking for a date? Do me a favor, go away! I look strange? Mind your own business! Excuse me, sir. Have we met before? Excuse me, have you seen a man walking around here? Where can he be? My girl? Oh, at the square? Oh, thank you. I'll go find her there. Have you seen a woman wrapped in a coat wandering around here? I've got to find that woman. I've got...
Hmm? You want me to come to the square at 2.30? What's going to happen in the square? A performer, maybe. Well, all right. I don't have anything else to do anyway. Where can he be? Our town is known for this giant tree. It has quite a history, you know. They say it was planted back around 1500. It's one of the town's great treasures. Do you know anything about Levin's bomb's history? No? That's almost unforgivable. You should check out the city hall right away. I guess this is as far as I go. I bet she'd solve my problems. Performer wasn't in his usual place. I was really looking forward to it, too. Hey, now here's a guy with no worries.
There was someone behind me. But it looks like the crowd scared him off. That fortune teller. She told me to come back. I should go look her up again. Did my fate change? Did anything happen? You have been defying fate, haven't you? I am beginning to see a new thread. But, ah, you are still in danger. Three o'clock is now the fated hour. What? You mean I still haven't gotten to the root of the problem? If you can return here even after the appointed hour has passed, then I will tell for you the next fortune. <laughs> Even I can do that. Man, this is not a good time.
got to find that one. I look or something? Yes? What? Don't talk to me if you got nothing to say. Took care of it. But who was that person responsible for the fire? So this is what it means to change the past. Sir! Sir! Oh, good. I wasn't sure whether I'd find you. I'm sorry? Oh, uh, didn't I leave enough for the coffee? Oh, no, that was all right. Here, you forgot this. It is yours, right? Uh -huh. 
It's such a gorgeous stone, like a jewel or something. It gives me a funny feeling to look at it. If you made it into a necklace, I bet it would look great on a lot of girls. Well, uh, it isn't mine. What? B but I checked with the other customers. Hmm. Well, whose is it then? So, you came looking for me just to give me that? Uh, well, my shift's over anyway, and I thought maybe I'd just try looking around, see whether I could give it back. Oh, I almost forgot. What about this? Did I strike out on this one too? <laughs> no, that lighter is mine. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. But I'm always the one running these kinds of errands. I feel so tired. You can't be tired from something that simple. There's a lot of people out there whose lives are a lot tougher. Like me. <laughs> you are an interesting guy. My name's Ike. Hey, how about it? What if I made you a necklace out of this red stone? I may not look it, but I'm pretty good with my hands. Really? Tomorrow. I'll make it for you tomorrow. Should I meet you at the coffee shop? Uh, uh-huh. I'm there all day tomorrow. Great. I'll see you then. Tomorrow. Oh, you came back for the stuff you forgot. I made Dana go out to look for you. She said she'd try the town square. What? Whoa! You scared me half to death! sure whether I'd find you. I'm sorry? Oh, uh, didn't I leave enough for the coffee? Oh, no, that was all right. Here, you forgot this. It is yours, right? Huh? It's such a gorgeous stone, like a jewel or something. It gives me a funny feeling to look at it. If you made it into a necklace, I bet it would look great on a lot of girls. Well, uh, it isn't mine. What? B but I checked with the other customers. Hmm. Well, whose is it then? So, you came looking...
Well, you have a nerve, my girl. Really? What with that one being punished yesterday, too? What is it that you don't understand? What's so difficult about being more quiet-like? Dressing above one station is an offense, you know. Do you want to be punished like that, woman? What's wrong with wearing what one likes? And this dress is one of my quieter ones. Really good ladies. You'd like to wear this kind of a dress yourself, <gasps> wouldn't you? Well, I never. A little neighborly advice, and she sasses me. All right, then. We'll have the law down here. <gasps> That's right. You tell her. Oh, no. Now, that wouldn't be very pleasant. Come on. Let's just let this pass, all right? Well, then, in exchange for us not telling the law, you'll make us dresses for free. Right, that is. You're a seamstress, you are. That's right, you tell her. You'll make me one, too. <gasps> oh, dear. I don't see how I could do a thing like that. We're doing this just to be obliging now. Oh! <gasps> oh who are you? Yes, who are you? What's this? It's dark already. Get yourselves home, everyone. Fetch a... Oh, sir! This man just suddenly... I see now. It was you. <gasps> this little girl called for help. Wicked little sly boots. <gasps> the little hussy. Sir, you must arrest her at once. What? Why should you think a thing like that? Huh? What's this now? What are you doing here? Good heavens! Oh, 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 oh. Fire from his hand! Listen carefully. Stop bothering this woman and go home. Do as I say and no one gets hurt. This time. S sir? Mr. Watchman, sir? But, um... And you will I, keep uh, everything that happened here a secret, understand? Uh, yes, uh, everyone, give your word. We promise. Uh, Forgive us, please. Uh, please! <clears throat> Uh, uh, will that be all, sir? Uh, if it is, you could all perhaps go away now. Please, everyone, <gasps> go home. Hurry, <gasps> quickly. Thank you. You saved me. But who are you? Nobody you need to be afraid of. But enough about that. Did you see a girl? She's about your age. What? Uh, no. Oh, that's not good. Look, why don't you stop by my house? It's right over there. We can't stay out here. And you can tell me everything inside. <sighs> Let me introduce myself. I'm Margaret. I'm Ike. Ike Kush. Well, Ike, let's go. Mother! I'm home. How are you feeling? I'm all right today. There hasn't been a great deal of pain. Is someone with you? A guest? Wow! Would you look at those strange clothes? We met in the square. He's looking for someone. Isn't that right? Yes, something like that. My, 
Your friend's voice is remarkably like your father's. Huh. You think so? Where is father anyway? Closed up down there again. He won't come up, even with mother like this. It's all right, Hugo. One of the reasons I love your father is for doing what he believes in. Is that how it is? Hugo, you'll carry on after your father someday, won't you? I... I, I don't know yet. Well, maybe I'll just go and take a peek. I wonder if father's had his dinner yet. Hey, please be careful with that. What is that? Uh, it's a machine. A really complicated one. It, well, I don't know how to explain it to you. Let me guess. It... It... Makes whatever dish you want appear? No. Uh, okay. That was just wishful thinking. Well... Then, it maps the heavens? Nope, doesn't do that. All right, then. Let's see. It... I know! It lets you travel through time, and... And you've come from the future! Am I right? Well, actually... Uh... What? I'm right? Well, how can that be? How is that possible? And is that why you've got such funny clothes on? Well, uh... Hugo... <coughs> Mother, are you all right? Hugo, you ought not bother our guests so. I'm sorry, he's very curious about everything, just like his father. I suppose he'll become a scientist as well once he grows to be a man. I'm not interested in alchemy, Mother. At least, not right now. How can I be when it can't even produce a medicine to make you well again? Perhaps not yet, but with time and effort, one never knows. I'm sure that's what your father believes, dear. So, your father's an alchemist, huh? Well, something like that. He makes medicine for people and does stuff like mixing and grinding strange stones and metals. He's always doing that sort of thing. And I mean always, all the time. Hugo, dear... <coughs> <coughs> Father's completely wrapped up in his experiments. I couldn't even get him to look my way. So what else is new? He's always staring at the kiln. He hasn't even noticed that I was born. Hugo, don't talk that way. You were looking for someone, weren't you? Tell me, what does she look like? Is this girl like your... You know, huh? Huh? No! It's not anything like that. I actually don't remember too well because I just met her. But she was blonde and had her hair tied back kind of high. And I think she was wearing something reddish. Reddish, huh? Can't say I remember anyone like that. I guess I'll go look around. Thank you for everything. Oh, you're leaving already? It's dark outside, so be careful. Let me know if you find her. I'll keep an eye out, too. Tough luck, sis. I guess you're just not his type. No, oh, what are you talking about? Well, goodbye. Thanks for all your help. Oh, no. I'm sorry I couldn't help much. I'll see you soon, all right?
Haven't seen you around before. A woman? I don't know anything about that. If I don't get this seedling planted by the end of the day, the foreman will have a what for. What do you think you're doing? Only the squire's got the right to come and interrupt my work. Come to laugh at me like all the rest, have you? It's a terrible time we live in. You put on a pretty dress and they punish you. I thought the squire would be merciful, but a blonde girl? I wouldn't know a thing about that. The squire's manor is beyond that gate. The squire's crest? Come to think of it, the seal on the manor house is about to fall off. Everyone is saying how it ought to be repaired. You want to take a look inside? I've got the key. Of course I can't let you in for nothing. What have you got to trade? Well, all right. Come on inside. By the Blessed Mary! This is the Squire's! What's this now? Yes, I have a message for you. The Squire doesn't want a tree here. Uh, what? Well now, alright then, if the Squire says so, that's that. 
Guess I'll call it a day. <laughs> So Dana is somewhere back there, in the past. What have I done? Why did I get her involved? I promise I'll find you. Please hang in there until then. Today is a good day to quit. I... I don't want to die. Excuse me. What do you think you're doing? Do something useful. You know, you know. Like gathering information. I deeply appreciate it. If you wouldn't disappoint me. Hello, Ike. Oh, hello, Eckhart. Aren't you supposed to come around to my museum today? If you're not, I was thinking about closing up here. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to head out there right now. That's right. I was supposed to stop by the museum. I'd better get going. Would you like a chocolate? I've got some free samples. Take some if you like. It's a new product without a name yet. Just ignore me, all right?
Come in. I'm sorry I'm so late. Well, that's okay. Here, take a seat somewhere. So, what can I do for you today? Did you come to see my paintings again? No. I mean, that's what I was going to do, of course, but... Say, Eckhart, do you know anything about alchemy? Why the sudden interest? Research of some kind? Well, not exactly. Hmm. Well, let me see. I'm not really familiar with it, but there was someone notable in this city. A man named Dr. Wagner. He was supposed to have been a magician or a scientist or something. I don't know anything much more than that, though. I see. Do you happen to have any documents or things from that time? I think... Wait a second. <coughs> hmm... Is this the one? <laughs> oh. Here. I'll lend this to you. The Magician of Our City. It's a fairly old book. It might be the oldest one here. I think it includes things like stories about real alchemists that worked in this city. Recipes for the elixir of youth. Even copies of documents from the era. Of course, you need to take it with a pinch of salt, maybe a fistful. If there really was an elixir, I'd want it myself. I'll let you know when I need that book back. By the way, do you like cats? Mine had a litter the other day, as you can see. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Okay, but if you have a friend or anyone else who wants a kitten, let me know. Are you going straight home today? No, I was going to walk around the city some more before going home. Was? It's nothing. Just some personal stuff. Well, anyway, I have some more work to do, so I'll keep the place open until I'm done. Feel free to look around. It's better for the paintings to be looked at by someone who really appreciates them. Thank you, I will. How are things? Who's there? Wait, I've heard that voice before. Of course you have. Do you remember me now? I was the one who saved you. You should be a little more appreciative. What's going on around here? Who are you? That's not very nice. Can't you be a little more polite? I am homunculus. Not that there's much in a name. I've been waiting a long time to see you again. I've looked for you everywhere. By the way, are you using the sea -pad? Have you come here to kill me? Hmm? I think you misunderstand me, I. I'm only trying to help you. Certainly not murder you. It's just that I don't know how to give you any direct help. And that's the truth. No, I think I'm going out of my mind. I can't seem to convince you. This is really very difficult. If in some small measure. What the? What the? 
Did that man just... <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh! Didn't realize anyone was out here. Sorry about yelling and everything. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You see, my wife finally had our baby, so you can imagine. And it's a girl, too. The hospital just called me. Wow, great. Congratulations. Uh, do you work at this museum? Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Eckhart. I've just taken over from my father as the director of this museum. What? You are Eckhart? Yes. Is there anything I can do for you? N no Nothing. Wait! What am I doing? <laughs> I have to think about what we're going to call her. Great to meet you. Bye! The Z-pad. It doesn't work. Well, how about that? Just a small example of what I can do. How will you get home now? You better solve that on your own. You should be able to handle a little thing like that, Ike. What am I... What am I supposed to do? There used to be something in here. If I get some... Now I can get back. Well, what do you think? Are you a little more convinced? Come in. Is that you, Ike? Can I ask you something? Sure. What? Eckhart, do you have a daughter? It's all right. I'll, I'll take care of it later. I'm sorry. I don't think I ever mentioned my daughter to you. Well, no. I do have a daughter. Or, rather, I did. She was taken by some madman right after she was born. My wife was killed in the same attack. Does that answer your question? I'm sorry. I had no idea. It's all right. Don't worry about it. I'm so sorry. Why? 
Why? Any luck? Well? Okay. I'll believe you, for now. However, I am grateful that you gave me another chance at life. Hmm. Now we're really talking, Ike. You see, I'm counting on you. If you die, I'll be in trouble too, you know? I don't really get it, but are you sure about this? I mean, I can't do anything but take care of myself. But that's all right. It's the way things should be. As you can see, my body is very fragile and won't let me do much. I picked up a baby the other day and it was really quite terrible. Absolutely exhausted me. I won't ever do that again. So, because of all that, I can only provide you with some backup aid. Oh, I almost forgot. You will see that red stone again sometime. When you do, could you acquire it somehow? I would like you to give it to someone called Dr. Wagner. That's all for now. I'll be seeing you. What on earth is going on around here? Are you all right? Isn't there any way you can avoid being stabbed to death? What about putting something like an iron plate under your clothing? And if you make good use of that, perhaps. <laughs> Please make a good job of it. Hello, go ahead and sit down wherever you like. Uh, I didn't come to eat. Right, well then just go out the way you came in. Hello, go. What? 
Don't talk to me if you got nothing to say. Oh, yes? Do you work at this museum? Museum? What? This building is... This? This is my home. We've been here for generations. As the descendants of the regional squire. But now... First was my parents. Now my wife. All in such a short time. That leaves just myself and the two children in this castle of a house. You're right. It's too large for just the three of us. Perhaps it ought to be a museum, just as you say. I'm sorry. No, no, I didn't mean that as sarcasm. Don't be offended. Actually, I'm grateful for the advice. To tell you the truth, I've been thinking that I should just get rid of this house. Too many memories of my wife to bring me sorrow. But a museum? That's something I hadn't thought of. Hmm. Maybe a good thing, a museum. Perhaps this is meant to be. There are enough pictures in that collection of my forebears. It seems he had an artist he favored. You mean Carl Franzen? Huh. How did you know that? Are you checking into this house? I don't remember telling anyone that it was for sale yet. No, uh, please don't misunderstand. It's just that I happen to like his paintings, and it's not like, you know... Well, all right then. I've made up my mind. I'll... Hmm. I'll turn a part of this building into a private museum and open the collection of paintings to the public. That way I can take care of the children while I work. Besides, I know that there's at least one admirer of Carl Franzen's work. All right, that's what I'll do. I owe you many thanks. By the way, allow me to introduce myself, if somewhat belatedly. My name is Alfred Brum. Nice to meet you. I'm Ike Kush. I'm grateful to you, Ike. Come inside. We'll have tea or something. Okay. Sorry. He's just gone to sleep, finally. Good. Now I need you to do something for me, Sibylla. Will you please make tea for our guest? <sighs> if I must. Here you go. Ah, thank you for the tea, dear. Oh, yes, I should tell my sweet Sibylla. I've decided to turn this house into a museum. Well, what do you think? Whatever you decide is always good enough for me. Thank you. I was a little afraid that you'd object. Oh, it's much, much better than selling this house. <laughs> I see. I'm sorry I made you worry that much. I know. Let's have a photograph taken. If we're going to start a museum, we'll need to renovate. We'll all get a picture taken with the house before then. Please join us, Ike. There's no time like the present. I'll fetch the photographer this instant. Mr. Franzen? This early in the morning? Franzen? Oh, yes. He's descended from the painter Carl Franzen. Maybe that's why he's a photographer. 
He's a good friend of mine. I can count on him to come if I need him. Just wait a little while. He'll be here in no time. Sibylla, you hold the fort and watch the baby, please. Of course! Did you persuade Father not to sell the house? No, I didn't do anything like that. This is something your father decided on his own. Oh, I see. I'm just awfully glad that the house won't be sold. Oh, it's coming undone here. Hmm? Give it to me. I'll mend it for you. What? No, that's okay. Don't worry. I may look little, but I can do anything. Well, anything except cooking, that is. See that? That's for Father to wear in the festival coming up. I sewed that too, so don't be shy. Are you cold? If you are, just put that costume over you. I'll be done soon. There. Almost done. <laughs> you sure look funny. <laughs> You. Let's have the picture taken like that! What is it? Isn't that an interesting egg? Father bought it for me the other day. There's paper inside and you can write a message on it. But I don't need it anymore. You can have it. How come? I was going to write, please don't sell the house and give it to Father. But now that he said he's not going to let the house go, it's all right. Is there an iron plate? An iron plate? What do you want something like that for? Well, I just kind of need one. There's nothing like that here. What's it for? Do you need to grill something? No, nothing like that. Wait a second. What is it? A frying pan. Do you have a frying pan? You must have one. No. When Mother died, Father had all her things taken away. So we only eat what the housekeeper brings nowadays. All because no one will let me cook yet. Hmm. <gasps> Cafes and restaurants must have lots of frying pans. You're right. Good thinking, Sibylla. You're welcome. 
But it's too early for any of the shops to be open. Oh. Hey, you know, come to think of it, there were a bunch of frying pans in the bar where that fire was the other day. What is it? Oh, never mind. Can I borrow something to write with? And can I use this too? All right. Now it's a question of whether I can make it to that time. Excuse me. There's something I have to take care of. I wonder if this'll work. I'm pretty sure this is where I saw the juggler. a message inside. To Ike, please get something like a thick iron plate. Duh. I won't fall for the same trick again. I'm really sorry. I mean that. Well, I guess you wouldn't go home dressed like that. It's all set. Everyone, come out to the front. We're ready. Come on! You go on ahead. I have to go get my baby brother. Hold still, please! Thank you very much. Oh, sorry I dragged you out of bed. Thank you to you, too. You can change back now. That's right. I should go get changed. Already. What? Oh, not yet. You've got a frying pan already? Oh, that. It's a long story. Excuse me, there's something I have to go do. Come again soon. Oh, and, uh... You can use that key as much as you want. What? I saw you. What are you talking about? What's the matter? You have to go somewhere, right? You shouldn't be late. Oh, that's right. Okay, see you. No, I should go back to the present from here where other people can't see me.
I guess I managed to escape thanks to this thing. Past 8.30 already. I could use a little food. I guess being hungry is a sign that I'm alive. Hey, I could go to that place, the one with the fire earlier. Good evening. Please, have a seat over there. What's good to eat around here? Oh, everything. Meat's good, vegetables are good. If you don't have anything particular in mind, why don't you try the special? All right, I'll have that. Coming right up. You're gonna love this. The science of alchemy has as its grail two great projects. One is the synthesis of the elixir of life, that which would free mankind from all ills of the body. The other is an amalgam purely scientific in nature, the creation of a homunculus, an artificial life. Both require as their central ingredient a red stone known as the Philosopher's Stone. Philosopher's Stone? Could that be? Here we shall briefly examine the life of Wolfgang Wagner, whose alchemical prowess was known throughout the region. Though born a farmer's son, he became the ward of wealthy kin after his prodigious intellect was recognized, and pursued studies in medicine and theology at university. Following this period, he seems to have made his living as an apothecary while pursuing the science of alchemy. However, what secured his lasting fame was no doubt the manner in which he met his end. Amid rumors of his engagement in an experiment of great magnitude and duration, Dr. Wagner's house was shaken by a thunderous explosion. And the alchemist himself was never seen again. It is often said that a no more fitting end could have been imagined for a mages such as he. Hmm, that sounds kind of suspicious. Thanks for waiting. Here you are. Enjoy. Hello, Ike. How are things going? Have you found anything out? That's an interesting book you have there. Hmm? Want to look at it? Uh, please, don't shove that near me. I... I don't like that symbol on the cover. What, this? You don't like this pentagram kind of thing? You're a little strange. <laughs> well, of course I am. In any case, I know the contents of that book. Dr. Wagner, who is mentioned in the book, had a daughter, and she is a very significant figure to you. What? Like she's one of my ancestors? <laughs> but you see, the Z-pad is drawn to that age because of the link, whatever it is. 
Please, don't forget the red stone. I'm looking for it too. But I believe that you are the one who is fated to acquire it. Getting your hands on it will be a step towards avoiding your own death as well. Remember that, Ike. Hey, I need more! Gone again. This is really a one-sided kind of relationship. Me and the age this book talks about. What's the connection? Oh, am I tired or something? Do you know what you died of? What? It was poison, poison, probably from the sea house. It uses the female of a type of sea slug as the basic raw material. You can control the rapidity of the effect and the intensity of symptoms by how you blend it. I'd say that was the cause, but you'll need to look into the details yourself. Why don't you try the library? Oops, I guess it's the art museum now. See you around. I guess it's the art museum now. What does that mean? What is it? Oh, nothing. Just came to talk, that's all. Oh, you can go anywhere you like. That's nice. I always have to mind the baby, so I can't go outside to play. Besides, Father will be busy changing the house around from now on. Is it pretty boring for you here, Sibylla? Yeah, just a little. Oh, don't tell Father. He'll worry, you see. It's okay, I won't tell. Hey, Sibylla, do you like cats? Kittens? Yeah, I love kittens. Oh, are you gonna get me one? I know someone who might happen to have one. I'll ask him if you like. Really? A kitty? Okay, I'll bring you one soon.
Hi, what can I do for you? Well, I need a kitten. You can take one? Great! Oh, that's just wonderful. There, take the one sleeping in that basket. She's a nice cat. I appreciate it. You show me, please. <gasps> She's so soft. Can I really have her? I promised, didn't I? Make sure to give her lots of love now. I might as well turn back. There's nothing this way. I'm still not sure, you see. <laughs> what, you don't want to turn it into a museum? Well, I've thought about that, but I've got a lot of books, too. A library wouldn't be a bad idea. What do you think? Okay, you've helped me make up my mind. A library it is.
Think of it. She said her father did research. He may be this Dr. Wagner. They may have some sort of a link to me. No! No! It's too dangerous! Don't get too near that house! There was an explosion just now. What with him dabbling in all that science, it's no wonder. He brought this upon himself! <laughs> uh, is this Dr. Wagner's house? Oh, so you knew him, did you? Well, anyway... You'd best not stick your nose in, or you'll be cursed too. See if you aren't. <laughs> so, this was Dr. Wagner's place. What? Looking for meat? Hey, you're kind of cute. I'll tell you what. You can have the scrap meat over there for free. doing here? Who are you? Hmm. Looks like I need a key.
Is that you, Hugo? Uh, no, I'm... Whoever you are, I want you out. How did you get in here? Look, I'm sorry to bother you, but are you Dr. Wagner? Yes, that is correct. Hey, is that for your research into the homunculus? Someone has been telling you things you ought not to know. Was it Hugo? No, of course not. I don't think I've told him yet. No, no, it wasn't. Call it, call it a hunch. A hunch? <laughs> well, if you say so. Excuse me, but I must ask you to leave now. And if you can, forget about what you saw in this room. Please. Are you by any chance looking for the Philosopher's Stone? What did you say? You mean that you have it? Well, no. I don't know if it's the one, but I have seen a stone, a red stone. Ah. Well, should you gain possession of it, allow me a small amount, I beg of you. Please. Uh, hi, sorry if I startled you. Aren't you the one from... I think you were looking for someone, weren't you? Quite a while ago. Did you find whoever it was? A girl, I think. No, not yet. You're still looking? I'm impressed. Hasn't it been at least two years? I tried finding her too afterwards, but I didn't have any luck. I'm sorry. But a lot happened to us right after you came. Mother passed away, you know. Oh, yes. Hugo's still at school. He started this year, and he's gotten serious about learning. I think he's decided to follow in our father's footsteps. But I shouldn't just make you listen to me ramble. I'm sorry. So, what brings you here today? Is there something around here called a sea hare antidote? What? What's the matter? Why do you need something like that? Uh, well... It's here on the shelf. Help yourself. I won't tell Father. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Is she my ancestor? What? Do I have something on my face? Uh, sorry. I was just... I, I mean, I didn't mean... I, I guess I'll be going now. Huh? You're going already? Why don't you just stay a while? Uh, you can tell me about the future and things. Please? So everyone thinks I'm from the future, is that it? Well, Hugo's the only one who says so, and nobody else believes him. Except me, that is. It's more interesting that way, don't you think? So tell me, what is it like in your time? Hmm. All right, then. Good. Oh, I have some things to deliver, so I'll walk with you if that's okay. There's someone, a friend of mine. His name is Eckhart. In my time, he's the director of an art museum. Yes, and? Well, I met Eckhart's great-grandfather about a hundred years in the past, and you won't believe how alike they looked. The face and hair? They're both pretty young, but the hair... <laughs> you mean a little thin? Maybe like the squires? And I mean in the same way. You know, on the top. <laughs> I guess that sort of thing is in the blood. <laughs> yeah, come to think of it, they both had a daughter. Oh. What is it? 
Well, Eckhart said... His daughter. She's gone. You mean something happened to her? Yeah, a crime of some sort. But, like, 20 years ago. And the funny thing is, it seems like he's still waiting for her to come back. I see. I guess that happens. It's like Hugo not being able to forget Mother. Family ties are strong, aren't they? It's gotten dark already. I'm sorry if I kept you. Oh, not at all. I really enjoyed the conversation. Oh, here we are. Will you wait a second? Dana? She looked like her. That girl you've been looking for? Yes, but I lost sight of her. Maybe it wasn't even her. Well, I need to go home now. Is that all right? Of course. Sorry about that. It's okay, but you really are from a different world altogether, aren't you? I, uh, well... Don't worry. I won't tell anyone about the things you've told me. Not that anyone would believe me, anyway. Thank you. It would be better if you didn't. I don't think I should be leaving anything behind in this age. Not just actual things, but talking about stuff, too, like I just did. Huh? What do you mean? Well, like, suppose I were to kill someone in this age. That's dreadful! Oh, bad example. Well, anyway, if that person were supposed to live till a hundred and have lots of kids and grandkids, but I interfere with his life at this point, those kids and grandkids will never be born. And all their descendants in my time will just disappear. Do you get that? Yes, I think so. So, the more I interfere with the past, the more the future will change. It may not be as serious as that example I just used, but anything I do here could affect the future. I don't understand yet, but I'll sleep on it. Your time period is very interesting to me. I wish I could see it. It's nothing exciting. Kind of boring, really. Oh, but I still want to see what it's like. I don't know why, but I feel such a strong pull towards it. Please, take me to your time. No, I can't do that. It's not possible. The future will change. After all, you're my... Huh? You're what? Wait a minute. Did I just say something really important? What? I couldn't hear you. It's not as though I've looked up whether I'm descended from you or not. But you should forget about me and live a regular life here in this world. Oh, I see. An ancestor, huh? That's how you see me. I thought... <sighs> Well, never mind. It doesn't matter. Uh, I didn't mean... Uh... I'm sorry if I've been a bother. I was out of line. Margaret.
I was born here, and someday I shall marry someone and have children grow old and die. And it's all been decided already, hasn't it? And then my child will have a child and that child too. And all the way at the end of that repetition is you. That's what you mean. And if I were to break away from my time right now, you would never be born. Something like that, maybe. I can't be sure. I don't have any memory of my parents, so... I understand. Don't worry about me. I'm all right. You will come over again, won't you? To tell me all these wondrous things? That's allowed, isn't it? I will. So, see you soon. Oh, Hugo! Did you just get back? Nope. I heard everything. I didn't mean to be a snoop, but it didn't seem like I could just walk in. It's okay. I won't tell anyone. Ugh. For heaven's sake, Hugo. You know, you could have just come in. After all, sis, I was just trying to be tactful. That's quite all right. Oh, um, Hugo? Uh... What? Are you still, you know, mother's lock of hair? What? I know how much you miss mother, but you can't carry that thing around forever. Sh shut up! What do you mean, that thing? How could you say something like that? It it's not as though I'm doing anything wrong! <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I'm sorry, that didn't come out quite right, but d don't you think it's just a little weird? You're the one who's being weird, changing the subject as soon as it gets a little thorny. Hugo! It's your fault. You ought to know that. Hugo! Father can't be disturbed. I know. I, uh, I should get going. Yes, see you soon. I'm sorry it was so hectic around here. He's always like this. I just can't do a thing with him once he gets upset, so I just leave him alone when he gets this way. Hey, sis, are you sure you just want to let him go like this? <sighs> Stop that, Hugo. <sighs> <laughs> oh, uh, I, I have something for you. Will you take it? Consider it a token of appreciation for all the stories you've told me. I've had it ever since I was little. It's strange. When I touch it, I sometimes see a picture of this man in my head. He's not anyone I've met. He's much, much older, like my father's age. I have the sensation like he's patting me on the head, but it doesn't feel weird at all. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have told you that. You must think I'm strange now. No, of course not. I've never told anyone about this. Well, anyway, take it. Are you sure? Yes, uh, something to remember today by. Good job, sis. Uh, Hugo, stop eavesdropping! Thank you, Margaret. See you. Oh, okay. See you later.
look, it's a poster for that new movie. What's it about? I never get this guy's movies. Who watches this kind of stuff anyway? The Meditating Man. Okay, this sounds pretty dull. Don't give up, I It's dangerous to be alone. Do something, or else you'll never break free from your fate. Hey, look, it's a poster for that new movie. What's it about? I never get this guy's movies. Who watches this kind of stuff anyway? The Meditating Man. Okay, this sounds pretty dull. Failed again. It's happened. Uh oh. You've come. Uh -oh. You answered my call, didn't you? No, no, of course not. What are you talking about? No, no, no. Wait. What do you want from me? Let me introduce myself. My name is Oleg, and I am a filmmaker. Just a novice at this point, but... Anyway, ever since I saw you a year ago, I've been meditating every chance I can get, channeling all my energy towards seeing you again. And finally you answered. To think I had such power! I will never forget this moment. Maybe I should base a movie on this! Uh... But what kind of film should it be? A bold and moving drama about a man with miraculous powers? Or a science fiction blockbuster featuring a psychokinetic hero! Um... Hmm... I see that you're the type of man who prefers not to betray his excitement. But let me ask you something. If you were making a film, what kind of movie would it be? Uh-huh. That's a pretty good angle. But what about the motivation for his temporal wanderings? Cause of death, huh? It needs something else. Any ideas? Oh, wow. I'm impressed. You've really got me. Look, please, don't tell anyone about this project. Once I'm a little higher on the food chain, I can film this. But it needs something more. A soul, if you will. Well, that'll come later. Watch for it in theaters, though, all right? Okay. You're not happy? I am. Really, I am. Very sincerely. 
I don't want to call this a token of that feeling. But here. Please accept this as a gift. In the name of this encounter. Uh, you sure? This looks like an antique. Oh, that's all right. It looks old, but it's just a replica. My family has the arts and crafts gene, so to speak. We like to make things. And this is the kind of thing my father likes to make. So there are old-fashioned cameras and pocket watches all over his house. And what I like to do is give them to friends. Oh, uh, thank you. No, thank you. I consider you one of my greatest benefactors, you know? Just talking to you like this gives me something immeasurably valuable. Really? It does? Yes, it does, absolutely. By the way, how does one acquire the power to do what you do? Please, please, come on! Share some of your powers with me! You can't ask me to do that. I mean, I, I can't. Try to forget about all this, please. Goodbye. No, wait! You can't just go! Gunshot. Okay? Oh, my, my baby. She. Uh, 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 baby. Come on, lady, hold on. What's going on? Someone hurt? I don't know. Call an ambulance. Right. You got it. What's going on here? A mugging? Hey, wait. Isn't this Eckhart's uh, wife? Miriam! <sighs> Miriam, stay with me, hold on! Oh, no! Where's Dana? Wasn't she with you? Has anyone seen a baby? Oh. Did you see her? N no 
Did you? I don't know. Did anyone see who did this? Oh no, this is not happening! Hi, excuse me. Yes? Excuse me? Wait! Lady, hold on. What's going on? Someone hurt? I don't know, but please call an ambulance. Right, you got it. Is she all right? Hey, what happened? Hey, wait, isn't this Eckhart's wife? Uh, Miriam! <sighs> Miriam, stay with me, hold on. Oh, no, oh, where's Dana? Wasn't she with you? Has anyone seen a baby? I don't know. Hey, you were just talking to this lady, weren't you? <sighs> yeah, but, but I was... <sighs> hey! That man! I'd say he's acting suspicious. Hey, where do you think you're going? You trying to make a quick getaway? A getaway? I haven't done anything.
is a wheel of changes. I haven't done anything. Oh man, this looks serious! A major case, that's it! Murder, mystery and time travel, that's the concept! This is going to be one hot project, but uh, if this relates to that and... Uh, it needs a little more work. Actually, it's gonna need a lot of work, but I must make this my masterpiece. Now, Ria, what is it this time? The good Samaritan. Didn't I tell you? Fate makes a powerful love. It's tough enough changing your own thing. You can't do much to someone else's. Doing it over and over doesn't mean you're going to get it right anytime soon. You may put yourself through the pain, the tears, again and again. You should try concentrating on correcting your fate as quickly as possible. I'm saying this for your own sins. Goodbye. Excuse me, uh, ma'am? Yes? Don't go that way. It's dangerous. Uh, please, will you take a different route? Excuse me? Uh, wait! Watch out! Uh, oh. <clears throat> Are you all right?
You saved me. Forget that. Are you hurt anywhere? No, I'm fine. Only some scrapes. You really were trying to help, weren't you? I'm sorry. Don't worry about that. Are you all right? W wait Where is she? My baby! Oh. oh no, the baby! Wait a minute, there's no kid around here. Are you okay, lady? <sighs> Miriam! Are you all right? Uh, I'm all right, but... You're bleeding! That doesn't matter! I'm all right! Where is she? Where is my baby? <sighs> Hey, where do you think you're going? Oh, uh, I thought I'd see if anyone around here saw anything. Okay, then I'll go call an ambulance. Hey, look! It's a poster for that new movie! What's it about? A man with the power to defy time itself uncovers the truth behind a grisly serial murder. Hey! That sounds pretty cool! I like that uh, kind of stuff! What's cool? Oh, this uh, director! I'm such a big fan of his! Oh my gosh, you too? That is so totally amazing! All right! I've got a good feeling about this one, too! Another major hit! No doubt about that, really! Nah. Hey! Watch what you're doing! Hello? Hello, Hike. I'm sorry, but something's come up and I need that book back. If you could bring it over, I'll be waiting at the library tower. Ah, great! Uh, I'm locked in. Eckhart? Are you here? Oh dear. But this may be the chance we've been looking for. This attack takes place indoors, which means that the killer is in there with you. If you can somehow fool the killer, you may be able to catch him. Can't you do something to make sure you don't fall off without alerting the killer to that fact? You've got a bit of time. Good luck. It's 
locked. I don't really want to think about it, but can the person who's trying to kill me be... Eckhart? Is it? Is that possible? And why would he be... Isn't there any way to get in without Eckhart knowing? Hmm... This is an old lock. Maybe I can get a hold of the key. All right, hold still, please. Uh, oh, I'm going to run into myself. The tower key. There's two of them here. It should be okay for me to take one. <gasps> Uh-oh. I'm going to run into myself.
Since I'm going to be shoved off here, I can tie one end of a rope to this railing and grab the other end tomorrow before I get pushed off. That way I shouldn't fall. I hope it works. You're sure about that? He's alive. All right. Yes, he did say he was coming over tomorrow to look at painting. Yes, I'm sure. Yes, I know. I won't tell anyone. Who's he talking to? Just when you think you have the rope set in place, you should grab a hold of the rope before someone pushes it. Well, you've almost got us. Hang it.
Isn't there any way to get in without Eckhart knowing? Hmm...
Since I'm going to be shoved off here, I can tie one end of a rope to this railing and grab the other end tomorrow before I get pushed off. You're sure about that? Finally, it's done. Now it's got to be cleaned up. Oh, hi. Eckhart, you... Is this yours? Eckhart... I asked you whether this was yours. Yes, someone gave it to me, but we need to... I see. Eckhart, there's something I need to ask you. Ah, I'm sorry. Truly sorry. I was blackmailed. Our daughter went missing 20 years ago. It was Dana's return for your... your life. So, were you the one who stabbed me too? No, I don't know anything about that. You may not believe me, but that's the truth. What? So there's someone else trying to kill me as well? Then who were you talking to on the phone? I honestly don't know. He, he said he'd call again once you were dead. Don't worry. After all, I... I told you all this, didn't I? I won't make any more attempts on your life, and I plan to give myself up to the police. Forgiveness I can't ask for, but I am sorry. 
No, that's all right. I'm still alive, and besides, it's the fault of whoever is really behind this. Please don't blame yourself too much, Eckhart. This comb, it somehow made me a sane man again. When I look at it, I, I, I feel like she's safe. When I hold it in my hand, I, I can believe that the blackmail was nothing but a piece of fiction, and that my daughter is out there somewhere, happy and safe. It's as though I'm stroking her little head again, reassuring. I don't know quite how to express it. I must be getting old. No, I think I understand. That comb, I'd like you to have it. Are you sure? Isn't it a keepsake? Sweetheart? Miriam, I woke you. Everything's all right. You should go back to bed. No. My darling, you heard? Yes. Your voice rather carries, you know. I didn't mean to listen, but you sounded so agitated that I... Oh, Miriam. Miriam, I'm so sorry. Everything is going to be all right. You have me, don't you know that? I've always been on your side, always. Thank you, my dear. Thank you so much. Don't be silly, dear. We've been together for 20 years, you know, and... Oh my! You're... aren't you? Uh. What's going on? Ike? You two know each other? No. It's just that he looks so much like someone I knew a long time ago, that's all. I, uh... <sighs> it's all right. You don't have to say anything. A middle-aged woman has memories that are best left as they are. The truth may only disappoint, and I'd rather not be told. <laughs> Hold on a minute. What is all this... You make it sound like you two are old flames or something. How come I've never heard anything about this? It's a little too secretive for my... <laughs> now, don't worry, dear. I am a one-man woman, and you know very well that you are that man. <gasps> it's so alike. Hmm? What's alike? This comb and the one I gave our baby Dana to hold. I don't remember exactly what it looked like, but I think it looked like this. Sort of antique, you know? What? Huh. That's why. I, I see it now. That, that's why I feel so peculiar about this thing. Makes sense. Hmm. You too? But I didn't think you would have noticed things like her comb. I didn't think so either, and that's why it's so odd. Ike, is it, is it really all right for me to accept this from you? You should have it. I've got to get going. Already? I have to find out who's doing this. Of course. And if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. I'll do everything in my power. I don't remember seeing this picture before. 
this stone and the girl. Dana? Oh yeah, I should ask about that picture. to show up unannounced, don't you? Father's down in the basement working. You did come to see him, not Margaret, right? Oh, stop it! All right, okay. Yes? Father's down in the basement working. You... you have by chance the Philosopher's Stone? Uh, no, but... if I do find it, you'll be the first to know. Fine. I will be waiting. That alone has eluded my grasp. Oh, Ike! Are you going already? Yeah. There's something I have to get to your father, but I haven't got it with me right now. I think I know where to find it, though, so I'll be back. See you later. Oh, yeah. I should ask about that picture. That girl chosen to model for that painting? Nobody knows where she came from. She was first seen in this city about three or four years ago. I 
wish somebody would draw me. I'd really dress up for it. Did you hear about that girl working at the Lord's Manor? She was chosen to be a model for a painting. What a lucky girl! from that... Um, Ike? I was worried about where you were. Yeah, I was pretty shook up too, when I got separated from you. I'm glad you're okay. I'm really sorry you got mixed up in all this. I was scared to death though. It was pitch dark too. But it only took me a bit to figure out that it was the same place, and I started thinking that maybe it was just a different time. The buildings and the streets are almost exactly the same, so... Wow, you thought of all that and didn't freak out? I would have for sure. Well, it took a while to get used to. Things only fell into place lately. I looked for you a long time, you know. I'm sorry. I looked for you too, but I didn't have any luck. Well, no use worrying about what's done. It has been four years after all. Huh? Oh yeah, I guess it would be. You do look more, I don't know, mature, come to think of it. What do you mean? Oh, uh, nothing. Really. A night watchman helped me that first day, and since then I've done a lot of different things. I even worked at a mill for a while. But now, I'm a chambermaid at the Squire's Manor House. I feel so content these days. I feel like I should be thanking you. Why are you modeling for a picture? The Squire's a patron of this painter, and that's how I met him originally. He said he really wanted to use me as a model, and I just couldn't say no. I see. The Squire's daughter was supposed to model, really, but she didn't want to do it. So I ended up taking her place. So the girl in the picture is you? Oh, I don't even start posing until tomorrow. I just came over today to work out the schedule and all that stuff. But the picture will eventually be painted. Hey, why did you come here today? Are you here to take me back? You know how to, don't you? Yes. Do you want to go back? I did, you know. Of course I wanted to. But that's not how I feel anymore. Not anymore? It's okay. I have no one there. No parents, no family. So I'll be okay here. No one will worry about me. No one expected anything of me back there. No one was watching, no matter how hard I worked. So there really is nothing for me there.
Dana. Don't worry about me, Ike. I'm really very grateful for all you've done. This world, this age... I feel like I've come home after a really long trip. That's how right it feels, and I mean that. So, please don't look for me anymore. This is where I'm going to spend my life. I've already made up my mind. Dana. Oh, remember this? It's the red stone from that day. That stone's a... Look, do you mind if I ask you to give that to me? Of course, you can have it. If it weren't for this stone, I would never have met you. Never would have ended up here right now, talking to you like this. I've always thought there was something very important about this stone. That's the reason I thought about having it included in my portrait. But that's okay. After all, I got to see you again. Here you go. Thanks, Dana. So, what are you going to do now? I... I, uh... <laughs> There's someone you know that I work with at the manor house where I'm being looked after. He and I, well... We're going to be starting a life together someday. So, I'm going to be staying. I'm really sorry, Ike. Won't you regret it? No, I won't. It's all right. Okay. You take care, then. Thanks. You too, Ike. You... you have, by chance, the Philosopher's Stone? Yes. Is this it? That's the only stone I know that fits the bill. Ah! In the name of heaven! I shall start the preparations for the experiment right now! It's all right. It doesn't matter if this is not the true stone. I am grateful for your help regardless. But if it is the stone, the result should be wondrous. Hmm. Please, come back again in, let's see, five... No, make it ten days. Ten days? Okay. That would be the thirteenth. Oh! What is it? That experiment's dangerous. That may be, but... This is something I want to do. Something I must do. Please, try to understand. Ten days from now, by then, the experiment should yield fruit. I will be able to show you the homunculus. At last, science will prove itself capable of creating life. How I wish she could have been here, Elena. That is my only regret. See you in ten days, then. Oh, and one more thing. Could you keep this a secret from Hugo and Margaret? Knowing Hugo as I do, if he learns of this, he might do something like attempt to bring Helena back from the dead. He can't seem to face his mother's death. Should this experiment succeed, 
And if I manage to find what answers I can in my quest for truth, I shall commit all records of my research to the fire. Now, take care. Hey, did you manage to see Father? Uh-huh. Why do you ask? Man, what's the matter with Father anyway? He hasn't let me into his laboratory lately. When I went in there the other day, he got really angry with me. And ever since then, there's some secret in there he can't tell me about. I just know it. Hey, are you like father's right-hand man? You know, with tools from the future and stuff? Of course not. Nothing like that. Really? I'd definitely ask for your help if I were father. Then I can make a machine to move through time. You know, like the one you showed me before. I sort of understand how it works, anyway. Wow, really? I'm impressed. Well, I said sort of. Anyway, I'm more interested in what father's working on right now. Hugo, I'm sure Father will tell us one of these days. I don't know about that. Children, I have something to tell you. Father! I am going to start another experiment, but this one will be very dangerous. So I want you two to leave the house for a while. Right away? The sooner the better. I'll send word in about ten days. Go to our relatives' homes or anywhere else you like. That's all. Can I help with the experiment? No. Both of you have to leave this house. Oh, for Pete's sake. What does he think he's doing, huh? <sighs> Come on. Where should we go? Sis? So, you're just going to do it? Do we have a choice? But... but... It's okay. It's only for a little while. Let's go. We have to get ready. I guess I'll be going now. Uh, of course. I'm sorry we're always in the middle of something. See you soon, okay?
Hello? Is anybody here? Anybody? Dr. Wagner? Margaret? Hugo? Anyone here? Hugo! The basement. This meter here... Is this a time machine? That can't be. That sounded like Margaret's voice just now. Long time no see. Actually, didn't we just see each other today? Is this... Hugo? Uh-huh. I really like these machines of the future. Being able to just project your voice a long distance, that's really something. How did you know my number? Oh, that. I just asked someone called Eckhart. You know, you mentioned it once. How did you get here? And why? Were you the one threatening Eckhart? Come on. Threaten sounds so serious. All I did was propose a deal. Can I help it if he jumped at the chance when I told him what he wanted to hear about his daughter? Oh, and about how I got here? It's pretty simple, really. Remember that tool you showed me? I just made one of my own. You see? What? Well, actually, I didn't make it. Not exactly. The Hugo of the future completed it and gave it to me. A transport mechanism to time-space marked by phenomena of relevance. You like it? Just like yours. Actually, I think the other stuff may be different, but who cares, right? In any case, I can track and follow your machine. What about Margaret? Will you look at that? I'm forgetting the point of the whole thing. Can you drop by? I'll be waiting at the square. Bring homunculus, we have a few things to discuss. Oh, and by the way, do what I tell you, okay? Otherwise, someone you care about is gonna die. I don't have to tell you what I mean by that, right? Later then. Hugo! Hey! Hugo! Where are you? Man, you are so noisy! I'm here, right here! <sighs> Hugo! You're the one who's been trying to kill me? 
Never mind that! Where is the homunculus? You heard what I asked you. The homunculus was completed because you showed up! You fooled Father into creating the homunculus! Isn't that right? I read Father's research notes. It said you brought him the last ingredient! The Philosopher's Stone! Me? Get your father to create homunculus? All I've been doing is trying to stay alive! But it isn't... What I really wanted was to get here earlier and stop what you were doing. But all my machine could do was follow yours. So I targeted yesterday's you, because I thought I could manage to get to you before you did the things you did today. I had so many chances, but I still didn't manage to kill you off. Hugo! It's a shame, but there's no way for my machine to outrun yours. And I can't stop the homunculus from being completed. So I'm switching to another plan. If I can't prevent the homunculus from being created in the first place, I'll destroy it. That seems to be the only way to get a hold of the Philosopher's Stone. The Philosopher's Stone? What use is that to you? <laughs> Hugo! I'm out for revenge, get it? The homunculus destroyed my family, and you were the one who had it created! No! Hugo, I can't believe that's true. Ike just doesn't seem like a person who would do a thing like that. There must be some other reason Father disappeared the way he did. Come on, Hugo, let's give him just a little more time. We can wait together. Shut up! That's your problem, it's not mine. Now stop treating me like a kid whenever it suits you. Got it? I... I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. But... I know that the homunculus is made of the Philosopher's Stone. If we got hold of it, we could save Mother. Save? What do you mean by that? I can save her life! That's the reason I'm looking for that stone. This time, I will succeed, and she'll be alive again. We'll all go home together and start over. You understand now? Come on, go get the homunculus! Bring her back? Hugo, what do you think you're doing? You want to raise the dead? The stone let Father create the homunculus. As long as I have the right materials, this should work too. Uh, you're not serious, are you? Never mind, just hurry up. You used that lock of Mother's hair! You tried this before? Hurry up! A homunculus can't be... He always... He just appears out of nowhere. It has nothing to do with what I want. Yes, he saved my life, but that's about it. It just isn't possible for me to call him up. Don't you get it? I'll give you 20 minutes. If you don't bring him to me in 20 minutes, I'm just going to disappear. Sorry, sis, but I'll have to leave you behind in this age. Hugo, what do you think you're doing? Don't worry. Even if I do end up doing that, nothing's going to happen to you. Leaving your ancestor in this time, you understand what that means, don't you? Go on, hurry up!
you can see. This body can get a little tiresome sometimes. It must be nice to have a human one. Could you come with me for a second? Hugo's looking for you. And I have a few things I need to ask you, too. Hmm. Hugo, huh? Which means you know who the killer is, I guess. Let me guess what Hugo's plan is. He's going to leave Margaret in the present and wipe you, her descendant, out that way. You knew about this? Since I was willing to give you time-traveling powers, you didn't expect me to just sit around, did you? I tested out a few histories. That particular outcome is just a variation on a theme, so it was fairly easy to guess. It's the sort of thing that Hugo would think of. So I... Please don't bother to thank me. I just wanted to help. Switched kids. I found a baby, just about the same age. <laughs> Is the Margaret you know blonde and blue-eyed? You did what? Switched babies? Isn't Margaret an ancestor of mine? Well, that's my theory. There's something uncanny about your involvement with that family, don't you think? It is, after all, the simplest explanation. And, if she isn't a blonde, it means my plan worked. No matter what happens to Margaret, your existence is an assured fact. Don't worry, I'll switch things back to the way they were after all this is over. You switched Margaret with Eckhart's daughter? So what, I No big deal, I'm saying. She was going to die alongside her mother, and I saved her life. It's harmless compared to Hugo trying to cancel your existence by abandoning Margaret in the future. Master Hugo's plans will fail, thanks to me. That's what really happened when Eckhart's daughter disappeared. Wait a second. Are you the one who murdered his wife too? Who? Me? As if I'd risk myself in doing that. Do you have any idea how fragile my body is? I have to take good care of it so that it won't break. I'm really not very strong. Just now, I had to rest a little here, and the next thing I know, there are people all over the crime scene. So I couldn't complete the switch. But I did manage to bring the real Margaret to this time. Under the name Dana, of course. No need to worry. I don't believe the stunts you pull. These are people's lives, their fates that you're dealing with here. Excuse me, you lost me there for a second, Ike. Sorry, but I'm not human, so I wouldn't know anything about that. Uh, you! But I do believe in the power of fate, you know. No matter how much you meddle, it always wants to go back to the way it was. It has a kind of homing instinct, if you catch my drift. That's why we're having so much trouble getting death to you. Off the menu. I know what I said about not wanting to die, but you have to stop changing other people's destinies around so casually. Do you have to go that far? Well, if you're that unhappy about it, I, would you like me to change it back? Of course, it has to be after she turns 20, after she's been taken hostage by Hugo. Otherwise, there's no point in switching them in the first place. You... 20 years isn't something you can just erase from memory and relive. Don't you understand how serious time is? Excuse me? Are you trying to lecture me, Ike? After all I've done for you? 
Humans are nothing but trouble. Really. Well, see you later then. Wait! Where do you think you're going? He said something weird. Homing instinct. No way. Was that it? So Dana is my... And Margaret is Eckhart's daughter. Can that be it? Welcome. Uh... Yes? You're... Who are you? Would you really like to know? If you really don't mind telling me. Could it be that you are here because you have some idea of what the answer will be? I met you once, long, long ago. I could not have imagined then that we would meet again under such circumstances. I'd listened to Hugo talking, of course, but how could I have believed these wild fantasies about time travel? That is, until I became what I was and saw you again. Yes, long ago I was called Helena. I had a life of my own and two children named Margaret and Hugo. But I was also very ill. When we first met, I couldn't even raise myself from the bed anymore. And soon afterwards, I died. All that was left of my existence was a lot of my hair, as it should have been. But Hugo, my son Hugo, found the homunculus device that his father had been experimenting with, and he used my hair in the machine. What are you doing here? Father! <sighs> I, I... Never mind! Uh, just get out! Father! Uh, but... But Hugo, Father... Hugo, do not enter this room again! 
Hugo's act brought back my spirit alone to this world, stripped of the protection of the body, and the disembodied spirit kept forever from rest. And I have been wandering this earth through time, and will for all eternity. Have you told him? Told Hugo about this? No, I have not told Hugo. He cannot see me, nor hear me. Why are you helping me? You are very special. You can hear my voice. The only people I can reach are those who have ended their stay in this world of the living, and are on their way to the next. Oh, great. So I have one foot in the grave? Is that it? Perhaps. But you are trying to deflect your destiny away from immediate death. And the cause of your death rests with Hugo, my son. So, I suppose I was hoping that fate could be swayed. Just like that creature, I know how powerful fate is. But I still hoped. Though, of course, for a very different reason from the creatures. The creature? The homunculus. My husband did not create it, you know. Its true nature is far from that. It's a kind of genie trapped in the Philosopher's Stone. All my husband did was free it. Can be. What I've told you, I pieced together from what other souls told me in my wanderings, ever since I became what I am now. Of course, not all of it may be true. I've kept you long enough, haven't I? You must go. Fate is something that belongs to you, and the only one who can change it is yourself. My work is near its end. There is only one thing, one thing I ask of you. Should you ever see Hugo again, tell him, tell him, he has done an unforgivable thing, but I forgive him, even if no one else can. Who's there? No need to be surprised. You are a nervous one, aren't you, Ike? What did you want with this ruin? Four hundred years ago, it was a laboratory. Now, it's just a mess. You didn't see anything? What just happened here? <laughs> oh. You saw the spirit. So, you can see it, can't you? I can see the living, and I can see the souls of the dead. But I can't see the thing that lives here. Gives me the creeps, really. I can sense something, but that's it. Hey, can you call up spirits? Excuse me? Well, for example, if Dr. Wagner could have a talk with Hugo right now, and Hugo understands what his father was really trying to do. Maybe Hugo would change his mind about all this. What do you think? Well, well. I hadn't thought of that. 
Dr. Wagner, of course. It couldn't be simpler. Really? Really. Wait a moment, and I'll fetch Dr. Wagner. Come over here. Dr. Wagner? Aren't you the one who brought me the Philosopher's Stone? That's right. I'm Ike. Doctor, I have a favor I need to ask you. I don't know how to say this, but your son Hugo is trying to kill me. He thinks that what happened to you and his whole family was Homunculus's fault. And that Homunculus would never have been created if I hadn't helped you. He told me this himself. He also said that he was going to use the Philosopher's Stone to bring his mother back to life. Oh no. Where is Hugo right now? Don't worry, he's nearby. But, Dr. Wagner, I have to explain something to you. It's more than 400 years from your time. I... I must see him. I must speak with Hugo. He needs to know the truth. I see now that this is why you brought me here. So will you speak to Hugo? Yes, it is my duty. Will you take me to him? Of course. Gladly. Did you bring him? Hugo! Who's there? Please stay here. I will handle this, Ike. Dr. Wagner, please be careful. Did you bring the homunculus? Goodbye, Ike. Hugo? Father? Father? Father! Y you're alive! How did you get here? Hugo, what do you think you're doing? Did your mother and I give you life so that you could take another's? N no that's not it. There's a reason. Then stop your attempts on Ike's life. Do you understand? If you do that, I will tell you all about my research. Okay, I understand. That's my boy. Come with me. Okay. Let us go then. Ah, 
How's that? Good. What's going on? Where did you take them? I wouldn't know. Why not? Dr. Wagner... Oh, that wasn't Dr. Wagner, right? What? Wagner isn't dead yet. So I can't very well call up his spirit, can I? That was a fake. Get it? A puppet that does exactly what I tell it to. Not bad, though. Hugo certainly fell for it. This can't be! Well, that just about takes care of those murder attempts. Wouldn't you say? Well, looks like it's over, doesn't it? Good job, Ike. <laughs> I... I was trying to change my destiny. Mm-hmm. And you did. All this was for you? You used me to ensure you would exist, that no one would rewrite the script. No. Let's not have all this unpleasant talk about using. I mean, who cares, really? Yes. Yes, you managed to preserve my destiny. If you'd been killed, I would never have been born. Immortality has its perks, but you have to be given life first. I see. So I was just being used. All your talk about an ancestor, was that just to get me to go back to that time? Well, how should I know? Oh, by the way, I need the Z-Pad back. Here, it's yours. Take it. Oh. What? Well, why don't you take her back to her own time? Huh? Who? Me? Margaret, what do you want to do? Do you want to go back home, or stay here, in this time? I... I'll stay here. I want to stay in this time and make a life here. Are you sure? I mean... You know that... You know my father's not coming back, right? That's what I read in a book. So if we're to trust that... I won't go back. It's too lonely by myself. And besides, I feel good here. Like I belong. It's a strange thing to feel, but I think I should go with it. Here, you can have it back. I don't need it anymore. Yes, hand it over. Maybe fate decided his life would end this day. Soon afterwards, Margaret was adopted by Eckhart. I guess you could say that she finally came home.
such a tall tree. Was it here before? No, I think this is where he... Wait a minute. Did the stone do this? Is the tree here because the Philosopher's Stone released its energy? Hey, what's this? <clears throat> what? <clears throat> 